Welcome to Word on the Go. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Today I want to share with you a verse of scripture from the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11. Put on the all armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I repeat, put on the all armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. One of the things you need to understand as a child of God is this. You're not only a servant of God, you're not only a son of God, you're also a soldier. And being a soldier means a warfare. But aren't you glad that the commander-in-chief of these spiritual armed forces that God has called us into is the Lord Jesus Christ. He's never lost a battle. And we are part of that army. But however, scripture says you and I must put on the all armor of God that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The world wiles there mean strategies. Every year, day in, day out, Satan and all his agents are devising all kinds of strategies to lure believers into an arena of defeat. Strategies. Just like in every warfare, there is always some strategies that the, the opposing forces will devise to be able to trap whoever is coming against them. But I'm praying for you and that God will open your eyes and my eyes to be able to identify those satanic strategies. Imagine right now all, all over the world, everybody is gripped with the fear of the terrorist. But don't you understand that there are spiritual terrorists? In the, in the, in the, in the, in the verses that follows verse 11, it's mentioned there, you say we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. These are terrorists in their own agenda, but they are invisible. But you understand that also God has equipped us with his anointing, equipped us with his word and equipped us with the power of the Holy Spirit to be able to stand against the strategies of the devil. What I'm saying to you in this episode is this, Christian life is not a joke and it's time to stop playing church or stop playing religion and get serious with our personal work with God because the day you and I said yes to Jesus, Satan did not just say, well, okay, finally, they can go. Yes, he knows he has lost the battle, but he's still looking for ways in and out on how he can trap you and I. But I declare in Jesus' name, no weapon formed against you or me will prosper in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. However, we got to know how to put on this old armor of God and stand against the strategies of the devil. A note I put on here is this. Now one of the church's greatest demand is to discern between spiritual struggle and social difficulties, personal difficulties, and political difficulties. And these are all categories of difficulties that everybody is faced with in this last day, even in the current climate in which we are. But aren't you glad that the Word of God makes us to know that we can be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might? Today I'm praying for you that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God will anoint you with fresh oil to be able to rise up in your spirit and know that in the midst of the spiritual warfare going out there, I cannot be spiritually careless and I cannot take things for granted. That God will anoint your eyes to see, your ears to hear, your heart to understand and how to discern the strategies of the devil and know that God designed you to overcome and not be victim in Jesus name. So no matter what challenges you are going through right now, no, far beyond what you can see, there are spiritual forces of darkness out there. But God has said, I've given you the power to tread upon scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means urge you. So today I pray for you that the Lord will strengthen you from within and cause you to rise up and take the victory that Jesus has given unto you and enforce it in Jesus' name. Amen. 
For more information about Grace Outreach Church, visit our website or check us up on Facebook. It's a new day and Jesus is Lord. We'll see you in church.